Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in as always. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm up early in the morning. Early. Because I needed to get this one out the way. It helps me get my three in when I get my first one recorded the night before or early in the morning. Yesterday I didn't get my two because I wasn't feeling too good. It ain't, I just wasn't, I just wasn't, ugh. I had the blues yesterday and I ain't talking about B.B. King. But anyway, today's a better day. So I want to take y'all back in history. We see what's going on right now with the hurricane efforts, the relief efforts over there in North Carolina, up in the mountains, in the hills, in the valleys. The rescue efforts are lack thereof. The lack of help from the government America, the lack of help, and keeping everyday citizens that want to go in and help, keeping them from helping. It's like there's an agenda going on. It's like they don't care. It's like America don't care about the people. But we got all kinds of people in America, right? Which people are you talking about America don't care about, Big Ward? I'm glad you asked. It's two groups of people America don't care about. I'm going to take you back, a blast of the past, back to Hurricane Katrina, when we had another tragic situation due to a natural disaster. And the government's lack of response. Let's go back to this time machine, y'all. Y'all ready? Let's go. The city has changed dramatically, tragically, and perhaps irreversibly. There's now over 25 feet of water where there was once city streets and thriving neighborhoods. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. You see a white family, it says they're looking for food. And you know it's been five days because most of the people are black. And even for me to complain about, I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher to TV because it's too hard to watch. I've even been shopping before even giving a donation. So now I'm calling my business manager right now to see what's, what is the biggest amount I can give. And, and just to imagine if I was, if I was down there and those are, those are my people down there. So anybody out there that wants to do anything that we can help with, with the setup, the way America is set up to help the, um, uh, the poor, the, the black people, the, uh, the less well off as slow as possible. I mean, this is Red Cross is doing everything they can. We, we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now fighting another way. And they, they, they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please come. Just an old blast from the past. Hurricane Katrina, 2005, more things change, the more things remain the same. He said, George Bush, 
which represent America, don't care nothing about black people because of the response or lack thereof. While people's lives have been changed forever. Let's fast forward. We got one group of people out the way. I told y'all it was two groups of people that America don't care nothing about. All right, got the first one out the way. Black people. We've been through that. Big boy, you ain't. I know all the black people t talking now. It might be some white folks don't agree. But I know the black people like, man, you ain't never lied, man. I mean, who you tell them? We already know that. That was the black people saying when I say America ain't never loved black people. Big wall, you, you, you need to tell us something we don't know. I, I got it. I got it. Not for to tell you something you didn't know. But now you know. And now these people know. This group right here finna find out, or they just found out America don't love them either. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as the cleanup and the recovery efforts continue across our area, patience is understandably running thin for some people who are facing a very uncertain future. And ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is on Treasure Island as people are pleading for something to be done. And now... I'm Michael Paluska here at Sunset Beach, and we just talked to a gentleman who is practically irate because he's been going in and out of this area. It's a long walk down through these dunes, but... No one's being let in that lives here, uh, just contractors and FEMA and police. And look, you can see these guys are carrying gallons of gasoline. People are trying to lug their ice in. There's people carrying their children. And he was extremely angry that they said FEMA's in control. We can't do anything. But all these items that they're trying to get in and out, like ice, food, check on their properties, take out valuables because of looters, they got to walk it in and out. So this was him trying to get answers from FEMA just a few minutes ago. You're going to send it to the right people so that they can help the necessary residents. Sure. So you can help the residents. Here, you, you are not helping the residents. Okay, but why did you stop it three days ago when the people need help now? And another resident we spoke to who's been shuttling things back and forth on her bike also told us she feels as though this area, Sunset Beach, Treasure Island, has been abandoned. What's your message for the state and for the federal government? He wants Get down here and help us. Get here we need help here now we need it now and so here's the thing we just talked to the pio for treasure island he says they're not trying to make people people lug all their stuff back and forth a mile to their homes they just can't let all these cars through and cause a traffic jam when they're trying to restore the power fix the water grid clear debris and move these tons and tons of sand so we're still trying to get information about when they might get back in they do have golf carts now four of them they're trying to get more they're shuttling people back and forth today is the first day they were able to get that in but obviously as you saw emotions are still running extremely high people lost everything we're here on sunset beach michael paluska abc action news now i want y'all to pay attention what do y'all see in these clips these last two just one i'm about to play and the one right before this there's a glaring Or what I call it. There's something stood out to me. It may not have stood out to y'all, but it stood out to me. And when I was watching these before I decided to make this video, that's what made me want to that's what made me decide to make this particular video. Because something that stood out to me about what I'm looking at here. A lot of y'all may not have picked up on it like I did, but once I tell you, you're gonna be like, damn. You're right. Hold on a minute. WRAL's Eric Miller has been in some of the most remote and rural parts of the mountains. Eric, people there now facing more than a week without any water, without any power. And now a lot of these rescue missions are turning to recovery missions. 
Yeah, Ashley, it's really taking a toll on people, both first responders and residents here in places like Curtis Creek. One woman telling me today that she's so tired, so exhausted, she literally fell into a stranger's arms and broke down crying. And you look around at some of this damage here in Avery County, this formerly green paradise turned into a moonscape. You can see why. In Curtis Creek, it's the start of a new week. I mean, it's been rough. But the same old problems have been sticking around. Some people can't get to their home because of uh, trees being down and it's blown over. No power except by generator, no water except from the spring. Donations and the kindness of strangers keeping this community and residents like Wade Hicks going. But I want to thank everybody that's contributed in any form or fashion to help this community. Thank them very much. Help has come from as far as West Virginia, including these cards posted on the church doors ahead of the first Sunday service this church hosted since the storm. It wasn't a long service, but we was able to get together and have service. Thank God for that. And as this community has prayed, first responders have been powering through. Yeah, we've been working 16-hour days some days, and... Uh... That's just part of one of these things, you know. Avery County Sheriff Mike Henley saying there are now four people dead in his county and four missing. Rescue operations also switching into recovery mode with a mobile morgue standing by. That is in place. We need it. Now, Sheriff Henley did give us a tour of their command post there, local as well as national officials there standing by, including leaders from FEMA, trying to figure out how to best help this community. Ashley? Eric, real quick, are you... Did you see what I see? Do you see what I see? The people. That are being neglected. During Hurricane Helene or whatever the name is. It's aftermath. The people that are being neglected. Forgot about. FEMA not let. It's some hard stories I hear about what FEMA going down now. People like me and you coming to help. They won't let them in. But they ain't helping them either. They're leaving them out, out there, you know, stranded in the mountains, in the hills. As if they don't care, which they don't. People. Lives have been devastated. And their country treat them like they don't care. They say they ain't got no money. They ran out of money and then slapped you in the face by turning right back around and sending a couple of hundred million to another foreign nation. Telling you they ain't got no more money. I'm talking about just blatantly right in your face disrespecting you. Here it is, y'all down there, don't know how you're going to make it, and your government telling you, we don't care nothing about you. That's the other group of people that I said I'm going to tell y'all about. That I'm just finding out, and I'm sure they just finding out, it's a shock to me that the American government don't care nothing about them either. White folks. In the beginning, Kanye West said George Bush and America don't care nothing about black folks. That's, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Been like that. Been that way. We've reached a point in America where America don't care about white folks either. If you ain't got this, white people, do you feel me? Poor white folks, average white people, get up, go to work, everyday hardworking people just trying to make it, check the check. Just trying to make a day out of it. Just trying to provide for your family. That's it. I'm talking to you white people. Do it feel like your government don't care nothing about you? Because they don't. They just 
blatantly right out. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. That's pretty much what they're telling us. That's what they're telling us. You ain't got no money. We don't. Black, white, it don't matter. Racism is dead. I said it. Racism is dead. I'm not saying all racists are dead. Like, there ain't no racist still running around here telling me, I don't like them colors. That ain't what I'm saying. Still got a few of them running around out of here. Ignorant as hell. Useless. Ain't worth being around. Other white people don't even want to be around them. Because they're useless. They don't have a clue what's going on in the modern world. They still running around here talking about they don't like them black folk. And the white folk that done caught on to what's really going on, now they looking at them like, get away from me. Racism is dead. Now my boy, my girl, my man, woman, and child, white and black, I ain't tripping out them other folks. I'm talking about the originals here. I ain't talking about the Indian, you know, now they want the Indian, I ain't we talking about the, the, the battle between white and black that have been going on in America. Them two groups of people have been the main groups that have been battling for centuries in America. Black and white. Now we've reached a point where ain't none one of us got no value if you ain't got this. America don't care nothing about black people. You're right, Kanye West. And now we see America don't care nothing about white people either. You're right, Big Ward. America only cares about that greenback. The dollar dollar bill, y'all. If you ain't got that, you some poor white man, a white woman living off in the mountains, you ain't got to be poor. Just check the check, working every day, trying to make an honest living. You ain't no bum, you ain't no loser, you ain't no scrub. You get up and go to work every day, provide for your family. But you ain't got millions. You're not an elitist. So them people, you're just a mountain dweller. They don't care nothing about y'all up there in North Carolina, Asheville and all them other places, the mountains. Man, who cares about some mountains, some hillbillies? That's the way America is looking at y'all right now. Same way they gave us derogatory names. They got them for y'all too. And they can kill less. So now that we, what we going to do now? Like I, always, I, I already been saying, we got to do this, black and white. We got to do this, black and white. We got to do this. Are we gonna do this? United we stand, fill in the blank. Get it, got it, good. America don't care about white people either. Bye.